We're back. Let's do the blitz. First up, GE, General Electric, under pressure. There it is, down more than 4%. I mean, this, this thing can't get out of its own way. Right? Profit declined less than feared. Yeah. Things seem, at least from a stock standpoint today, not so bad, and then it's just consistently sold down throughout the session. I was gonna do this really obnoxious rant, like, what are you doing in this stock? What's wrong with you? But then I was thinking about it. You know, this this probably doesn't change any, I know it looks like it's making a big move, but there's not really that much money changing hands. What, what's really gonna happen, I think, is people that have been buying it as a value play, nobody expected this to be good earnings, so they're not selling. Um, and traders who are looking for things that are working in a market that's trending near all-time highs are not messing with this thing either. Um, so I, I just, I don't think there's much news happening. I know 4% is a big move, but not really for this stock lately. Um, historically maybe, but these days, this thing is just gonna do what it's gonna do, up four, down four, um, anytime there's good or bad news. It's just gonna be more volatile because of the lower price. All right, Michael Parr, Schlumberger. Schlumberger. Yeah, you know, Schlumberger had uh, uh, reasonable earnings. The revenues were up 11%. Earnings uh, year over year up 23%. Operating margin up 50 basis points to 13.2% uh, year over year. This is one of these stocks that hadn't done anything. So if you are a kind of a long time hit them where they ain't type of investor, which we are, I think it's a reasonable time to take a look at Schlumberger. Oil prices holding up. Uh, that continues around the globe they can they continue to see volumes pick up three percent dividend while you wait this is my kind of company all right Skechers John Nigerian pretty sketchy uh, stocks down 22 percent now it was all the way down to 23 three dollars lower earlier in the day they make about 60 percent of their goods over in China judge and we've kind of beat that horse pretty hard here today as far as the head you don't strike me as a Skechers kind of guy no no, or not, not Cole Haan and uh, Ferragamo. Right. That's what I would have figured. Ferragamo. <laughs> Me too. More Ferragamo. We mentioned the financials. Uh, they're standing out. Uh, one of the top performing sectors of the week. Uh, there you go. It has been a move higher, Kate Moore. Yeah, you no, like I, it? I told you. I, I feel good about this now. I need this to continue. Yeah. I, <laughs> Let us know on Monday whether it lasts. <laughs> and we need to see rates continue to move a little bit higher. I don't want to see as much pressure as we've had from concerns around trade and uh, a slowdown in global growth, which we are not expecting. And I think people need to get comfortable with, the, as I was saying before, uh, these are a total return story, that there's a lot of support for an investor in the stocks. Yeah. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.